Welcome everyone, my name is Jeff Smith and today I'm going to show what we've done in database actions or formerly known as SQL developer web to help you browse and interact with your tables and more specifically the data in those tables. So I'm here on our home screen or what we also call the launch pad and I've got some cards available to me. What we're going to be talking about today is in the SQL worksheet. So I just simply click SQL. And here I've got a list of my objects on the left and I've got a worksheet on the right where I can run queries and I can see what's what on my tables. So I've created a pretty simple table up here called blobs. It's got three columns. Uh, I can see that it's got an ID, which I'm storing as a number, a description field, which is text. And then I have something called the file, which I'm storing as a blob or a binary large object. So whether or not you want to store files in the database, whether or not you think that's a good or bad idea, the database supports it. And in some use cases, it, it does make sense. So let's take a look at how we can browse this table and interact with it. So what everyone's probably familiar with is just uh, using SQL. So I can say select star from blobs. And down below, I have in my worksheet grid um, the fields. This says blob in parentheses. We're not going to print a picture in this grid. But if I click the pencil icon, I can get some details on it. It's telling me that I've got a GIF. How, here's how large the file is. Um, there's a button here I can download. If I click on image, it'll actually show me um, the file. In this case, it's an animated GIF, and the browser knows what to do with that. Now, I can't make any changes to this. Um, I'm, I'm just looking at it, or I can download it. So I'm looking at the results of a query. I shouldn't be able to change stuff here. If I clicked Escape, it'll take me out of that uh, little slider panel. Now let's say maybe I want to add a file or change a file in this table. So I could obviously use update and insert clauses. But I want to show you is this. I can right click on the table and say open. I get this panel over here to the right. I'm going to click on over to data. And now I've got a writable grid basically. I can make changes. So let's create a new row. And I'm going to, oops, yep, I'm going to browse to my Snagit folder. And I just created this GIF this morning. Yep, click Save, Commit. My row is in. So if I close this and run my query again, there's my another GIF. All right, let's go look at a more traditional table. Look at employees. So I've got all of my rows here. I've got a single record view that might make um, you know wider tables a little bit easier to browse. I can change values here if I want. You're hired today. I got a change pending on this row, so I know what I'm committing. And I've got a filter icon here I can set. I can say, let's just look at people whose salary is greater than 3,000. So I've got that filter active. So now I'm just seeing people that make that much money or more. And if I want, I can apply a sort. I can do a record count. And 
I can do an export. Do JSON. That'll do a file download. And I've got my data there. I could create a new row. I just put in the values here when I'm done, click commit. I'm going to say cancel out of here. Last thing I'm going to do is I'm going to clear my filter so I don't freak out and think that I've lost employees. And I can just hit escape to close this dialog. That's a little bit of our uh, table browser and changing and updating rows. I hope you enjoy this feature. Uh, we do quarterly updates, and the latest version of SQL Developer Web or Database Actions is now available. It's version 21.2. It is a feature of Oracle REST Data Services, and I will include a link to a video that teaches you how to download, install, and use SQL Developer Web um, via words um, in the comments. Thanks again. Everyone have a great week.